Okay, on to the next section. I might, I think I'm going to do these two next sections together because they're, they're really short, uh, really, you know, so, okay. So, uh, the next two sections are these two. Um, and all these really are is I put them in just to have the most commonly used things that you use to rate with at your fingertips if you leave the Maya Star, uh, Maya Star menu open like I have it here. So, um, so, toggle object mode last mode it's the same as it hitting f8 you know so you know if we select our uh, you have your smush life you hit f8 you go directly into vertex mode or the last mode um, um, and so it's like between uh, object mode you know so it depends like I said depends on the last two um, modes but it's just like hitting f8 it toggles between uh, the object mode, object selection, and um, whatever was the last thing. So if we were, uh, let's see, if we were in edge mode, oh, oh gee, I guess maybe not. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see if we take it. Yeah, okay. See, Maya sometimes is so weird um, that if you use F8 will toggle between the last two modes that you used by selecting the F keys. Because, you know, um, um, you know, F8 is object mode and toggle between whatever was your last F key selection mode that you, that you did. Um, you know, F9, um, and, and that takes us on to the next one. X9 takes you right into vertex, vertex mode. Um, you know, uh, F10 is edge, you know, uh, F11 um, is face, um, and then F12 is UV, you know, and as you can see it says to press F8 to go back to object mode, or, or to toggle between the two. Okay, the weird thing is that if we were in object mode and we went to say, um, uh, edge mode and you were to hit F8 it wouldn't take you between edge mode. See if you selected the mode through here it doesn't it isn't the same as selecting through the F keys. One of the very weird quirks about it uh, about Maya. Um, you know like there's times where where you um, say you were in vertex mode there are times that you find that you're in vertex mode and you need to switch over to a different mode for some function or whatever and you come over here and you hit you hit um, F8 to go back into object mode and you lose your selection you know um, you lose your original selection well easy way to get back that back but stay in object mode is just hit oh uh, I thought it was hit control Z um, let's see Anyway, so there's some weird, some, Maya gets a little weird. I know there's certain situations which you're in one mode to select things and you need to actually be in another mode, but you want to can keep the original selection. And so by hitting F or Control Z, um, you can get your control, your selection back. Um, but anyway, that's a whole nother video. So anyway, um, so those are those two. Uh, F, that's exactly the same as hitting F9. Um, and that's the same exact thing as hitting F8, but it toggles between the two last, uh, like I said, F, F way, F key selections. But like I said, but this selecting it through here, totally different. It's weird. It's like I said, it doesn't hold the last choice. So I already explained that. So I don't need to go over it again. Okay. So, um, freeze transformations. Uh, awesome. Um, like I said, it does exactly as coming up here to modify uh, freeze transformations. Um, so uh, delete history, same thing as coming up here and coming here and going delete by type history. Same exact thing. Um, go to bind pose. This go to bind pose is slightly different. This go to bind pose is slightly different than, um, than go to bind pose under, um, under here. Okay, this is 
this, even though it says go to bind pose and this says go to bind pose, the difference is I wrote a little mail script um, that when you click on go to bind pose here, it selects the M pelvis bone um, so you don't have to select it manually. See, so you can come here and then click go to bind pose and it goes to bind pose. It automatically selects the end pelvis bone and then goes to bind pose. While if we were here um, and we went uh, skin, go to bind pose, it wouldn't go to bind pose. Normally it would actually even give you an error saying you have to select a bone first. You know, it doesn't matter which bone you select, but you have to select a bone first. And then you go, um, go to bind pose. So if I just hit go to bind pose, see, nothing happens. Usually it used to, at least in my version, in old, old my, my version 8.0, it would say, oh, you need to select a, a bone first before um, doing it. Let's see if it, yeah, see if you look here in the lower left hand corner, um, which is always a good idea to keep an eye on, um, it will give you little tips and stuff for the different things. So if I hover over go to bind pose, it says select a joint on the skeleton in the lower left hand corner. Um, and same thing here, it will show you little little um, tips and instructions that I all put in here. I wrote all these so that you give you little little clues or little heads up, little background information or stuff that you need to do. Um, and um, on newer version or on older versions of Maya, you would only get these pop-up little things in the lower left-hand corner if you were doing it from here. Before you, before I un, um, tore it off, you know, before I tore it off. Once I tore it, once in older versions of Maya, once you tear it off, you don't get these little pop-up things in the lower left-hand corner. So okay, well that that covers um, these two sections, and I will look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.